PayPal cashing in on the crypto craze, a payment company announcing a new feature that will allow users to buy, sell and hold cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. The news sending Bitcoin soaring more than 7 percent to its highest level of the year. And our next guest is a crypto pro who says PayPal just gave a major stamp of approval for the entire crypto space. Joining us now is CoinShares Chief Strategy Officer Melton Demures. Melton, great to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. I feel like uh, Bitcoin's exciting again, so here we are. It's uh, great to be back. Here we are. In fact, we have the Bitcoin bug back up in the corner uh, because it's gotten so exciting now. Why do you think this is a major move uh, for PayPal? I mean, we thought that it would be a major thing when Square did it. We thought it would be a major thing when so many other companies have done similar moves, allowing their customers to have Bitcoin wallets. Yeah, so look, Square has been really exciting. A number of different fintechs, including Revolut, SoFi, Robinhood, also offer crypto. But what's really exciting here is Venmo, which is owned by PayPal, has 300 million active users. They're millennials. They're all the target audience for Bitcoin. They're the types of investors who are interested in holding Bitcoin. So in terms of retail exposure to digital currencies, PayPal is the largest distribution channel available in the United States. And their willingness to include cryptocurrency in their offering is phenomenally exciting. It's going to be a huge on-ramp for consumers. Uh, in terms of merchants, there are 26 million merchants on PayPal. What if only a very small fraction of them accept Bitcoin or any of the other uh, coins that, are, that, that a consumer can buy, sell, or hold through PayPal? Does that make a difference, Meltem? Are we, are we at a point where it needs to be more widely accepted? No, not really. Look, the important thing to remember is in this initial iteration of this offering, it's really going to be a walled garden, meaning that cryptocurrencies are not going to leave the PayPal environment. So nobody is um, bringing in crypto from outside the PayPal environment. It's sort of an internal ecosystem. And eventually, I think this is paving the way for PayPal launching its own cryptocurrency. If you recall, uh, PayPal was part of the initial Facebook Libra consortium. They dropped out this time last year, actually. And so I wouldn't be surprised if in the next six to 12 months we see PayPal launching its own digital currency similar to a digital dollar that we see in many payments companies in the Asia Pacific region in particular. Karen, do you have a question? Yeah, Yeah, um, thanks for being on. Do you think that things like this PayPal announcement are the next leg of the Bitcoin story Or do you think that it's something like um, the U.S. currency devaluation, the U.S. currency or fiat currencies, um, which is sort of a bigger macro story? Yeah, so at CoinShares, we now manage a billion dollars in crypto assets under management. And largely what we've seen is institutions are not really yet ready to engage with Bitcoin. Uh, Many of them are interested, they're learning, but until someone takes the first step, they're not going to be the first to move and start allocating to Bitcoin or launching Bitcoin products. So in the interim, I think the first step we have is corporates embracing Bitcoin as a new revenue center. Obviously, 3% of Square's gross profit is now driven by crypto sales on Cash App. That's really promising. Other corporates have added Bitcoin to their balance sheets. Uh, Square announced they put half percent of their corporate cash into Bitcoin. So I think in the near term, a lot of what we're seeing is those initial bridges between Bitcoin and the broader payments ecosystem being built out. And over time, I do think we'll see more meaningful engagement from other financial institutions who see a hugely lucrative opportunity by offering crypto products and services, not only to retail consumers and speculative traders, but also to institutions who want to hold it long term and who are buying into the store value narrative, particularly in the current zero interest rate environment. Malcolm, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Melton Demures of CoinShares. Dan Nathan, importance for PayPal versus the importance for crypto here. Uh, yeah, I think it's more, I think she did a great job describing it. I think the, the store of value is the reason, I guess, why you own Bitcoin right here. So I think it's more important to Bitcoin. Um, she makes a great point about the Venmo and the 300 million active users as being a great on-ramp for those people to get into crypto. I just don't know the reason for them to get into it right now 
other than the investment store of value reason. And I think you asked the question, Mel, because there just aren't the use cases right now. So to me, yes, great opportunity to be set up. Should Bitcoin be up $1,000 on this? I'm not sure. It's just not my bag right now. But um, to me, it's a good story um, for PayPal, I guess. Karen, just quickly, should it be up $1,000 off of this? I mean, it is kind of your bag, at, at least right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree with Dan. Sadly, I agree with Dan. Uh, that seemed like quite a reaction for, uh, you, you know, it's nice news. I don't think it's, you know, 1000 is a lot. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.